right, welcome back, party people. Um, I got asked to do this, uh, how to make uh, this cat wants to go from 3k to 5k. Uh, not a lot of videos on this, there might be, it might not be. So, first thing you want to focus on is um, what you want to uh, accomplish PvE or PvP. Mostly, I do PvP, um, but here. So a low budget spender depends on what class. The new one is really great for harmful effects. So if you run that, a harmful effect, that's a good one. Uh, Blessed Pebble is another good one for beneficial effects. Um, let's see, let's go over another good one star. Uh, I still think. One of the number one one stars is the Black Rose for CC because it locks people down and mobilizes them. That's another good one. Um, those three really stand out to me the most. People like Carson's because of the attack speed, but sometimes you'll max out your attack speed with your sets. I'm not sure what it is on like each class, but uh, you can look it up. Um, a lot of people like the Berserkers. In PvE, I would say yes. PvP, no. Because it makes you take more damage. And 5% of someone doing 20,000 is a lot of damage to you. Um, as well as a continual damage, just like so stacking 5%. Uh, the Hunger is great for healing yourself as a 2-star. Um, Cursling is a great gem. Pain class, of course. Viper's Bite. Mother's Lament really good. And then tier the comment if you have a channel skills, all right. I still wouldn't rank that over Vipers and Mother's Lament. Um, Abiding Curse is great as well. Uh, but the best thing I can tell you is, you know, run your riffs. Go to this lady here. Work on crafting the ones you need from the runes you have from running the Elder Riffs. And then just work on it that way. But uh, another thing I'm going to do is actually rank up. Because I went ahead and just freaking bit the bullet. And bought a four star. So we're going to rank this up. And for my gym power, I'm going to go ahead and... This is another good thing. Go here. I'm going to go power transfer. We're going to take the power out of this. Which is going to give me 4450. It's going to keep the gem and all the dupes and just give me the gem power. So I'm going to save that. It's now a dormant gem. We go back in here, as you can see. We're just going to socket the three star so I don't mess up. And then we're going to upgrade this. There's another little thing you probably don't remember. A lot of people have covered it. Um... To upgrade, it's unlocked, so that's good. To upgrade stars on a gym, all you have to do is put a higher ranking star. So, for example, I've got a three star in there right now. I'm going to put a four star as the dupe. As you can see what it does there, it gives you the four, but you don't want to use it as gym power because you can screw yourself over royally with that. And I just upgrade this to rank four. And then I just go here. And I don't trust this crafting thingy. Because you just click on this. And see I was trying to use. What is that? It's trying to use two of these. I don't want it. To use that. So a safe way to do it is. You need two rank threes. Is I just go back into her. And I make rank threes, okay? Because I do not trust that one bit. And that could be a costly mistake. Don't unclick that. Leave it, leave it unclicked. Go here. Upgrade. Boom. So that's one rank three. We need another rank three. Boom, boom. Upgrade. Okay. Pick the ranked one. More gem power. So now we got the two rank threes. We go back here. Upgrade. Auto fill now. Upgrade. So we now have a rank five. Now it takes three rank threes. 
Let's go back in here. Boom, boom. That is a rank two. Just like that. There's another rank three. All right. Go back into here. Okay. Upgrade. Okay. We go back into here. Go here, here, here. Upgrade. So that's two rank threes. Boom, boom. Go back into here. Upgrade this. Okay. Upgrade. Boom, boom. 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 So now we have two rank threes. Go back into this. Upgrade. Autofill. Upgrade. All right. Progressive is great. Um, you can do it this way if you want. Just to be safe. I'll do it once in this video too so you can see it. So let's go here. Boom. Okay, we got that. Now we're going to move this up so you can see it. And then you can, as a fun fact, check this out. You can actually see how high you can go, right? This is really cool. I like doing this. As a progressive, you can see how high you are going to go by doing this. It's all of them, I think. So 31 more dupes I have. So let's see. For that gem power, 31 dupes and 725. This is this is risky. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want. <laughs> let's do this and just do progressive. Because I still I still I'm really skeptical. So we do this and this, okay? And you can upgrade one step, and then I'll do that. Boom. And just keep doing it. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's do this. Let's test it out. We need 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The gem power right here. So we need 665 and 11 dupes to bring that to rank 7. There you go. Rank 7. And then you can... Keep going up progressively like this. So how many do I need now? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve of them. So we go back into here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and then we just grab that. There's the gem power we needed. Take it to a rank 8. And I think I might have half of the upgrade to do this. So let's just see how much I have left over. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 more. So that's going to put a little dent in it. So I was able to get halfway to rank Eight, it looks like I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more to raise that up. So that leaves me with a rank eight. Seven more away from rank nine. That dropped me down to 8180 res. And what I'm gonna do, it also took away my bonuses. Okay. So what I'm gonna do. Since one of my gems now has this in it. A rank two blessing in other word there. And I wonder what happens if I do this. That's probably a lot until I put the rest of it in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly feed that gem after I get everything I need for the dupes to make sure I don't spend too much platinum. For the dupes so they will come slowly all right so as soon as i get these dupes uh and then i will use the rest of the gym power i throw back into the dormant gym because right now we got all these dupes in here still at rank 10 and i'm just going to use it either in this 
or say possibly come up with another gym slot and I'll use it in that. But at rank eight, it does 36% crit enhanced with 36% fire damage over three seconds. And it's only a 20 second cooldown. And crit chance is increased by 9%. So yeah, that's that. And uh yeah, so yeah, focus on the gems you want to use. Craft them and do whatever it takes to get them. Um, you can also scalp the real cheap gems. I don't know, get with people in your clans if they have any low ones that they want to list on there. You guys can, you know, work something out, of course, because sometimes these gems are just ridiculously priced. Like, for example, like right now, it's not a bad price, thirty-seven eighty-nine. This one's going back up to four K. You know, just help each other out. That's what we do in our clan. We help each other out with gyms and stuff like that. But um, that's it for the video. I just wanted to touch base on um, upgrading your gyms since that was a question. And um, like I said, if you have like any questions, I can answer live. Uh, stream over on Twitch at Greed Gaming nineteen eighty four. So just go ahead and uh, pop on over. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, we have great conversations um, tonight. We are doing Rite of Exile. So I'll try to post this probably, if not tonight, tomorrow. Um, until then, I'll catch you guys later.